Hey, welcome back all. Well, I'm back in the engine again on this I-6 and I had a sticking valve here. I used uh, my brass rod to free it up a little bit. Actually, when I hit it with the brass rod, it just pushed down, didn't want to come back up. So I realized it was sticking a lot. I was able to free this up and believe it or not, I tried all kinds of lubricating oil. What actually freed this up really nice, and I used a little brush around the stem, was, uh, I mean, it just did wonders for this. So, what I need to do now is put it all back together. When it came time to free up the valve, I needed to take the valve spring off. And so I brought number four here up to top dead center. I put some 3 16 I believe, clothesline rope in the cylinder, filled it up as much as I could, and I got a lot of rope in there. And I plugged up the plugged up the little oil ports here on the side. And I didn't have a spring compressor that would fit. I thought this KD tool spring compressor would fit, but actually I can't really get into it because of the air pipe on this side. So what I did is I made up a tool. And all it is is a three quarter inch wrench. I think that might be three eighths. Use the same size bolt that holds your rocker arm in. And anyway, I uh, put a hole through there and then I put a hole in the back here. And what happens is I needed this to keep the wrench level because when I tighten this down without this here, the wrench would tilt and it would compress the spring down sideways and I could get one keeper off but the other one was pretty tight in there. So anyway, this, I actually threaded this part. I don't know if it's going to hold or not, but you can drill a hole and put nuts on both sides if you don't thread the wrench. Anyway, tighten this down and I was able to compress the spring. Now, these measurements, I just eyeballed this from here to here. Yours may be different. This from here to here, yours may be different as well. So there's the tool. I need to put the valve spring back on. And that's what I'm going to do. I guess this video is kind of in reverse because I didn't film me taking it loose. I didn't even know if this was going to work properly, but this part here just tightens down, try and get level with the spring in there, and then as you screw this one in into the hole here, you screw it in tight, then you tighten this nut down here. Screw this all the way down, tighten this nut down, pulls the wrench down. This should keep it level. So it should tilt this, it should tilt this way. Now I got a new valve stem seal for this. I got to put over it. The valve stem seal will help hold the valve up while I put my spring in the. And I want to screw this down a lot before this makes contact. Okay, I've got that down as far as it'll go. Hopefully. Now I want to tighten this one down to make the wrench level. I don't know if it's going to hold or not. I ruined a, a tap when I was tapping this chrome vanadium wrench steel, I guess. And I'm not so sure that this is going to hold. I want to make sure I get this bolt in there good. It looks like it's already starting to compress the spring some. But this is not, the top part is just going into the block here. 
I mean the head. I want to make sure it's secure. This is the one I want to tighten up. But so far, I'm having great success just doing it this way because this nut here is at the top of its travel. And this seems to be going down level. The further you compress it, the more tension on the spring, the more tension on the wrench. Yeah, there's one slightly in on the back side. Everything seems to be holding, but I can't say that for sure. Well, that's where it's supposed to go on this side. My spring is just needing to come down more right on this side here. Pretty chilly out here this morning. I believe it's about 47 degrees with the breeze out of the north. And my hands are cold. There we go. Boy, talk about making hard work out of a simple job. Now you can see my homemade tool there is about come off the edge of the cylinder, I mean the edge of the head, pretty close, but I believe the uh, it did work, slow, but it worked. So there's the tool, and I'm going to go ahead and let the tension off of it now and see if everything holds. So the keepers held. I did put a little grease on them to help hold them while I put them in. I didn't mention that until now. And that's what it sounds like when they're working. And when that one quit working, it bent the rod. Imagine that. If you don't have a valve spring tool, then I suggest you might try making one and you might find a better wrench than what I found here. Okay, and so there it is. You can see how it bent. You might want to use a piece of flat steel or even uh, a better wrench than what I used here, but the wrench probably bent because it was weak when I drilled the hole there, made a weak spot, so probably won't be good for a lot of uh, valve jobs, but I can always make another one. And there you have it. So until the next video, whatever that may be, this is Cars, Trucks, and Detours, a.k.a. Steve AZ 711 Thank you all for watching and subscribing, and yep, bye for now. It's a wave. Bye for now.